Yeah. Yeah. So you got any top top schools right now? Cause uh, Kane fans want to know. Uh, or, or did they make the top? You got a top five? You got a top I got, five? I got a, I got a top, top seven. Top ten, you put it top out? seven? I got a top seven. You put it out? Nah, you put it out, yeah, put it out yet? You gonna coming, put it out right now? It's coming, <laughs> it's coming soon though, but y'all get the first peek of it. Uh, um, I got um, South Carolina, Penn State, Arizona State University, Indiana, um, UM, who else? How many of them? Michigan, Michigan. Mich- Michigan State, and Mississippi. Yeah, I got, yeah, I got his. So listen, he just dropped top what? He just dropped his top seven. Oh, and also Auburn. Yeah, Auburn. 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 So yeah. we got top. He just dropped top eight top right there. Okay, man. <laughs> All right, man. Caneville football field. He that's X. I'm D. And we got boy Marshall in the house. Jalen Marshall in the house. Um, Hollandale. Hi, what position you want to be announced at? Are you, what position you want to be announced at? Athlete. Huh? Athlete. Athlete on defense. Athlete, athlete, on, athlete on, defense. on defense. You got Jalen Marshall in the house. Athlete. Man, you got over what? 30 offers? Yes, coach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the, the biggest, the, the highest ranked school that offers you? Who you got? Oh, Alabama. Alabama, national champ. Mm-hmm. They offer. Um, it's major. <laughs> so listen, um, where you play you football at, bro? Uh, a team called Foreign Boys. You know, yeah? Yeah. The name familiar, you know. Yeah, um, man, them the best uniforms I ever saw, bro. Yeah. Y'all got to keep them? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Them the best uniforms I ever saw. Yeah, a whole bunch of great players on the team, class 2022. Yeah. All the peace on the team. First of all, before we get into all that, man, who's your favorite rapper? Who's your favorite rapper? We asked everybody this. Who you listen to in the headphones, man? Who's your favorite rapper? G Herbo. G Herbo. G Herbo, okay, that's different. That's the first. What's G Herbo seen? Uh, he just really seen to the youth about like the streets. Yeah. Positive. He the first one to say G Herbo? First. Everybody is well, already... We're getting away from, um, uh, uh, what's uh, the name? Rod Wade. Rod Wade. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody usually just say Rod Wade. We're getting away from that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what you doing? What, what you doing in your, your spare time, man, when you're not playing football? In my spare time, I'm working out every day. Every day? Yeah, I'm on DC. What's every day? Every. Listen, real talk. What's every day? You got 30 offers. You say you work out every day. We hear people say that cliche stuff, right? So you waking up on Sunday today, right? Last night we was at Make a Play, 10 o'clock. Y'all won, DEFCON won everything. Mm-hmm. You working out today? What today is? Saturday? Su- Sunday. Sunday. He don't even know what day is. <laughs> <laughs> today's Sunday. Not today. On Sundays, on Sundays, I can say like that's our only break day. Yeah. But like throughout the week, Monday to you Saturday. You go to school, you get out of school, work. what happens? Talk to me. You go, you get out of school. And what happens? If we're not doing track practice, we in the weight room. I'm yeah. a coach um career at his apartment. Yeah. And if we're not in the weight room, we're on the sand pit doing conditioning. Yeah. Just technique work. Yeah. Every day. How many hours in a day? You hours, think? Um, every day average how many hours? Two hours, three hours? I said about five, six. We don't, I don't get back home until like twelve, eleven. Yeah? Day. Yeah. Working out. Working out. Twelve eleven? Yeah. At night? <laughs> working out? Yeah, no lot of And what you sixteen, seventeen? Yeah, I'm 17, 10, 18, yeah. Uh, listen, listen, uh, talk about that. Listen, yeah. when I was in high school, they tried to make us share the, our, our girls' basketball team in New Orleans was good. They was like ranking the nation. And we were sorry. Like, we was becoming good. Y'all was sorry. Y'all was good. We were becoming good. Like, they tried to make us share the gym, like, with, because they, we didn't have enough space. Man, Coach Rocco was like, man, we ain't sharing the gym with nobody. We'll start practice at 7 o'clock. In high school, we started practice at 7 o'clock, bro. Practice wasn't over to like 9.30. We used to get on, me and Frog lived in Opelaka. We used to get on from New Orleans, 9.30, 10 o'clock every night. And we just loved basketball. My mom didn't really care, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really understood what was going on. Nobody really questioned it. I don't even know if it was legal, bro. Like, practice started at 7 o'clock, you know? So, I mean, I understand what you're saying, you, you grinding. See, I, I told you, I asked you that because a lot of people say, man, we working, we working. You with Rosie, I know you working. And some people realize, don't ever trust somebody when they say, boy, we be grinding. Because you don't know what they grind look like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't know what they grind look like. They grind could be an hour, two hours. But they, but they think they, they think they working. Yeah, they, they think they working. So that's why I was asking you, because I know y'all getting in. So man, y'all, the defensive backfield, loaded, bro. Loaded with talent. Loaded with division one scholarships. Right. 
Not just loaded, they are huge. Like, I think the shortest one is like 6'1, 6'2, maybe. Like, right, and he what? 185, 1. And that's like this, yeah, that's. Like the, he in the 200. He in 200 right? now? That's crazy. He's been with Coach Rose before all of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what, 6'4 on one side. Who, six, who I name him? Who is it? Anthony yeah. Rose. Anthony Rose. He was All right, so these are the four headed beasts. Right? Four headed beast. Talk to Anthony me. Rose, Elg uh -huh. Elgit Weldon, um, Alfonso Allen, and me, myself, and Jalen Marshall. Uh huh. That's the four. All y'all was on the field together last year? Uh, no. Nah, um, not Anthony. Anthony, Anthony was at? Uh, he's at Kerr City. 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 Right, 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 right. How did he get to have that? How did y'all, y'all, you know him? Do you know Anthony Rose? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah that's like my 10 plus brother, like. He like my mom took the man because like he was struggling. You know? I know, I know, I know a story a little bit. Yeah. yeah. His mom passed away, so like we just we knew each other. Oh, since so born, so you know him, know him? Like he? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, 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 he played with each other. Boys, right? Yeah. Played with boys, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. That's just, that just okay. Oh, okay. No, I saw him at Go Get It trials like a year ago, man. And right off the back, it was like, man, this man is amazing. I put the picture of him up, and then he ended up at Kara City. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess it didn't work out there. But yeah, man, y'all got a huge defensive backfield. Mm -hmm. um, how far did y'all go this year? What y'all, what y'all end up doing? Uh, we was just in the process of building the team, but yeah. I can say like the defense on the defensive side of it, and we did our thing. Yeah. Yeah, we still better in the team, but you know that takes time. What was the record? Um, we was like five. I think we was like five and two. Five and two. Mm -hmm. That wasn't in the um the state playoffs. Uh, uh no. Tournament. Oh, so nah, y'all just okay. in the Tree County. Oh, the, the Tri County. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But how long has Rose Green been there? Been holiday? Oh, the first been at what? This is his first year. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is his first year. Mm -hmm. He talked to y'all about him in college all the time. I bet you, Hunter. Yes, <laughs> Make y'all go Google him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I got one of the hardest hits on YouTube. <laughs> Legendary. Right. I know you yeah. talked to y'all about uh, you um you um two new coaches, uh, T. Yeah, Will and T. Rob. Yeah. Yeah. I heard. I heard. Former teammates. Yeah. I, he played with him. Mm -hmm. I heard they just got um, safeties as DBs right now. Yeah, yeah. They don't got no like no cornerback. They don't. So no he, corners. No yeah. corners. I mean, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't take. They took one corner and then they took a cornerback in the transfer portal. Um, right. So they yeah they looking for corners. They yeah. yeah, they were cool and hard for 2022. They found yeah, they a lot of corners. Commitments. They they look at they want they want at least three corners in, um, in this class. So yeah. Um, I know they got you playing corner. That's that's what they talking to you about playing yeah, corner. Yeah, Yeah. yeah. If you had the chance to choose it, like what, what at the next level, what position you want to play? Well, I tell coaches like I'm, I want to prove my point. The people yeah. like get it, get it across to people that uh, I can handle like adversity on my own. So right. I like being on the island because, and I like hearing the other sideline talking because they amp me up. That's what gets that, that dog out of me. You like you like being on the other team sideline and hearing the boys talking it's crazy. It's me. It's me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that. And it does what to you? It amped me up inside, like it'd be nice to rely on. Yeah? That's, the, that's like hostile environment, bro. <laughs> Where that come from, man? You need a hug or something, man? You need <laughs> like, like you need to be in a hostile environment in order to, you know what I'm saying, focus. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm used to being down, you know, so like. Yeah? Just all of it, like, it just, it just give me energy to, to, so, to prove me wrong. It's so, almost, almost like at the free throw line, man. Right, the, right. The, the, the crowd screaming and you like, damn, 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 I'm just never worried about y'all. We hit this free right. throw right quick, so yeah, that's big. I mean, I, I watched you at the uh, the battle tournament. That was my first time seeing you play corner. I, I seen, you know, you playing um, safety, like linebacker. So when I seen you at the battle thing, I'm, and I'm like, man, they got Jayla in that corner. I'm like, well, let's see, let's see what this is about. And right. then I think y'all was playing the team from Louisiana. The bootlegs or something like that. And you shut the receiver down. And I was like, remember I told you, I said, man, you know, Jalen is out here playing corner on the outside. He like, like, I ain't nothing catch over there. So I was like, oh, what? This might be something serious over here. Yeah. So, but you've been at Divas and End, right? I played, yeah, I played Divas. So it's talk to us about that, because you were talking to us off camera about that, about being uncomfortable. Like, so you you play, you, you coach say, hey, man, get in there, man. We need you at the end. You, you good with it? Yeah, I'm a player. Well, why? Talk you know? to him. Even though it's uncomfortable, I'm gonna play it because like it just shows that it's just more opportunity on the field for me and for me to just showcase my talents. You know, I, I just want to show that I can do anything on the field. Right. Where that thought process come from? Anybody 
helped you with that? There was a coach that said, "Hey, man, listen, man, you, you show that. You, where did it come from? It come from my parents first, cause like they always told me before I I, I went to Hollandale with Coach Rosemary. It was like oh, learn how to be uncomfortable, cause at Shamanai things ain't go my way, but things not gonna always go your way. Right. So you just gotta know how to take in adversity and just play through it. When they say learn how to be uncomfortable, you understand what they're saying? Yes, coach. You, you, explain it to me in your words. Uh, Nobody wants to be uncomfortable. Explain it to me in your words what uncomfortableness does for you, what learn, they've taught you. Learn how to open up. Uh -huh. Be open to other things, don't just be one minded. Right, right, right. Right. They, 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 and talk, 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 talk a little louder, man. You got this cool, calm voice. What is it for the women, man? <laughs> nah. Huh? Cause I was always loud. I got a high pitched voice, boy. I get no women like that, boy. You got this Billy, D, you know Billy D is. He, that's too. That's that's way too. Yeah, that's far. way that before that, that before my time. Man, just Google Billy D, man. Ain't Google anything, man. You got, you got this cool voice, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, talk talk a little louder. So listen, I'm being uncomfortable, right? Growth is found in uncomfortableness. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if you're not uncomfortable, you're just chilling every day in your comfort zone. You're not growing. I. And that's just point blank period. You know what I'm saying? So to hear you come here and say, nah, man, I play defense in, I play cornerback, uh, that means your mind is already open and you're not locked in, you're not tunnel vision. Um, these kids would be like, man, I'm a corner. That, that's not reality, bro. That's not reality because when you get to UM, when you get to Clemson, when you get to FAU, people ain't trying to hear what you, what you want to play. They gonna look at you, they gonna be like, nah, man, you ain't fast enough, man, we need you in the box. And you say something crazy, man, they got three people behind you that's like you. So, so, so you having that mindset, you know what I'm saying, it's, it will help, it's gonna help you in the long, the long run. That, that's a mindset, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's here, you know what I'm saying? You having that's gonna help you in the long, in the long run, bro, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had fun at Make a Play, man? You had fun at Turn? Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was it was lit. It was lit. I like it. Was lit. Yeah, everybody was turning up, having fun. Yeah. So good times, good times. You know what I mean? Talk to me about this. Listen, you play cornerback, right? Yes, coach. You lined up last night. You locked up with Brandon Ennis. Tanner got fans. Mm -hmm. These players you're going to play with, for the, for you've been playing against them all your life, basically. Mm -hmm. When you get bombed, right? Blue! <laughs> and it's on camera. You know it's on camera. Is that... Does that bother you, or do y'all just not care? It's just like, man, you got me one time, whatever. Because you know it, it, you're going to be able to watch it over and over again. Does that bother y'all? Because we didn't grow up in that age. Short memory. Yeah? Short memory. But you can't forget it if it's going to be on Instagram nah, and nah. somebody tag. Nah, you definitely, you don't, you don't forget <laughs> it, though. You don't forget it. But it, it ain't a big deal. Because, like, nah, okay. DBs, you, as a DB, you going to get beat a couple times. Just don't right. get beat consistently. Right. And have short memory on the field next week. Yeah. Back harder. So the fact that it's on their Twitter, that's not really. It's like, man, whatever. You got me that one time. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. see, see, we was we kind of fragile, fool. Like we, yeah. no, we, <laughs> no, we didn't want to. We didn't want to get bombed. You know, <laughs> right, right. But they gotta live yeah. through it. They, they gotta, gotta like live through, through the, the video. They gotta live through. They gotta live through all of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's not that big of a deal. Cause as football field, sometimes I used to think, I used to think, man, every time I make a highlight of a kid. Somebody's getting embarrassed. And I started questioning what I was doing sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it was 10, 12 year olds. But I started realizing as I asked these questions that y'all don't care. It's like, man, my whole life played out on video. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. The difference they got on us, like, because everything is, 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 is on video now. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, with us, we didn't have either. So if we did have a game on video, you know, we definitely weren't trying to get bombed yeah. or get beat. So with them, it's like, ah, yeah, I got beat, but yeah. did, he, did he do it this time? Or, <laughs> you know, so they, yeah, that, yeah. The, 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 the short mass, the memory is, is definitely uh, needed, especially in corner. Right. Especially in South Florida. Yeah. Because it's going to be talked about. You remember any, you remember any, yeah. any some cornerbacks this side? Miami ever had any cornerbacks this side? Yeah. Um, Who? Wasn't one of the Blades, but um, the Blaze first one. was tall, T? Yeah. One of the Blades was like 6'2". Um, yeah. Ryan Manil, Mike yeah. Rump, 6'2". Um, How tall are you now? Oh, I'm 6'3". Yeah, 6'3". Well, yeah, well, I don't know what <laughs> you mean. That's what I thought. 6'3". Yeah, man, six, six, look, 6'3". Six man, man teaming around basketball point guard range. Yeah, 6'3 is big. That's big, man, for a corner. Um, How big Mike Jackson was? 6'1"? Tell Mike Rump. Mike, no, Mike Jackson. Um, uh, oh, yeah, Mike Jackson. Burns was, was what, 6'2"? Maybe? Burns was about 6'1", 6'3". Maybe 6'3". Maybe 
Yeah, six one. Yeah. So in college, if you if you had to, that's what you want to play. Mm -hmm. You want to be a cornerback. That's coach. Um, but then again, it's like and then recruiters they want one side locked down, so on the other side they can know one side locked down and just help them out, help, helping them out. Yeah. So you know. Wanna... Does that work in any defense? What, what, what's one side locked down? Yeah. 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 Um, any defense, no matter what they in. Yeah, because if, if, if you could lock you got, one side, you, you got one side defense. down, yeah, now you can do a lot. Now yeah. you can do a lot more. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you can do a lot more. You can blitz. You can blitz. Mm -hmm. the, the safety don't have to worry about playing over the top. Right. Um, you don't need a linebacker covering underneath. Uh, you can, hey, now we're going to play cover one. Right, you right. You got that side over there right. locked. You know what I'm saying? Who the best wide receiver you ever played against? See not him. not by name, but when you got in front of he got in front of you, you was like, oh my, this, this dude fast, like I, coach. <laughs> I gotta give it. I'm you know I'm tall, so I gotta give it to the um my, my um my dog. He played for Defcon. Um, he's short. Mm. You know, got number eight. Mm. Um, we call him Bugs. I forgot his name, but he go to Dillard though. He got number two. Oh, the, um, uh, the, the receiver from Dillard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah to yeah, me, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. best wide receiver I know. That's really. I, yeah, he underrated. <laughs> he went to Dilla. Yeah? Yeah, he underrated. You faced him in tackle and in? Uh, no, not in tackle. I'll be facing him in tackle this year. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But on 707, you've had to get in front of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's quicker than Mike Jackson and all these boys? He's quick. He went track. Wow. Like Is it the, the one that ran fashion. the kickoffs back or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's him. him. Yeah, that's him. He's fast. Yeah, he's like one of the top Yeah, he like one of the top fast. I don't know if he's Mike Jackson fast. He's fast. But for him to say that, bro, that's... Yeah, like I said, Just last night, he's faced... He had the, Mike Jackson was on the field. Brandon Ennis was on the field. <laughs> Tanner yeah, he was probably, on the field. He probably wasn't covering Mike because Mike Mike never was on the outside. He's always in the inside. Yeah, Mike you never in the inside. No, no. I cover. Yeah, no, I cover um Brandon and um and Santana. And right. Ray yeah, Santana. And that's just one team. I mean, Florida mm -hmm. Fire got a bunch of. I mean that's that's shout out to shout out um I forget the kid name man for Dilla man. Um, no, he fast. He yeah, fast. Yeah, two bugs. I cover yeah. Yeah. bugs. Yeah, bugs. Yeah, when I did that game, man, I was like, dang, okay, man, to kick off the back. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, he fast, pretty fast, but. So, so who, who recruiting you from Miami? Who be, who, who, who you got a recruiter? Somebody call you all the time? You done switched up a little bit, huh? Yeah. You don't know who it's going to be, huh? Because T-Rob, he be hitting me up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Yeah, yeah we be chopping it up. He was hitting you over here at South Carolina, too? Or no? Nah? He wasn't on you yet. But now he, he yeah, started, he he started recruiting you? Mm-hmm. Cool dude, ain't he? Cool. You got, what, three players in Super Bowl? Yeah, he got three players. Three, players. three current players from South Florida in the Super Bowl. Three current players from South Florida is playing in the Super Bowl today. He play with, he play with Coach Rosemary. Yeah. They play with Coach Rosemary. Rosemary, tell you and that. And T-Will. You can tell me all the stories together. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. All the time. Um, all the time. Is it competition between y'all, Anthony Rose, man, to make y'all better? Always. So we about to fight and we working out. Give man. us a story, bro. <laughs> Give us a story. Okay. We need a story. We need a story. A real story, too. I don't want no... PG-13, so I want a real story. I got you. <laughs> we, we at the sand pit. Right. And you know it's me, Fonzo, El, um, Edric, um, 50, um, Keelan, Martin Brown, mm -hmm. the, um, the linebacker, and um, Justin. Linebacker been fighting all his life, man. Yeah. What, man, this man been fighting all his life. <laughs> Justin. Uh -huh. So we all on the sand pit. And, like, basically, we, um, we choose teams by my coach numbers that he used to have in the past and his favorite number. So we choose between 24, I mean 21, 7, 56, 56 is just a number that, or 4. Yeah. And so like depending on what number you choose, what he thinking of first, you the um you pick your team first. Okay. So we picking teams and um Anthony Rose on Fonzo team and I'm on Edric team. Yeah. So it's like we really like the best against the best on the sand pit. Right. People don't know that we do that. That's why we so talented when it comes down to 707 because uh -huh. we already got chemistry on the field. Right. So we on the sand pit. So I'm going at it with Ant because I'm guarding Ant on offense and then I'm playing on offense and then Ant guarding me right. while he on defense. And so like every time we just talk. like one on ones or something? Like we be in man, Coach Rosen be having us in man on the sand. And you guard him as a wide receiver and yeah. he go got you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y'all do this in the sand pit? Yeah, we do this in the sand pit. That's hard, man. Like, why <laughs> it's that's cold hard. every time. That's hard. Yeah. That's hard. And it that's got sand. heated? Yeah, it always get heated. We talk trash to each other. Like I'm talking about. Not, like, you go to blows? Not, but not the, but like chest bumping, like yeah. hitting each other hard and stuff like that, hitting each other to the ground and stuff. Right. Like, it's all love at the end of the day because yeah, we, we know each other man, better. Yeah. We all play sports, man. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. We out there talking crazy to each other. And he don't, don't make it no better, man. He, he, he amping it up. He's <laughs> smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clapping it up like, every 
Yeah. He egg it all over. Yeah. Do he still get out there and be like, man, I could beat you and run out? Always. He, he be saying he, he don't need no pads to, to run yeah, us yeah, over yeah, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Y'all can get the pads and I'll run out with the pads. It's yeah. funny because, you know, when, when I coach used to say that, but, you know, I coach was a lot older. And, uh, and we be like, man, coach, I wish you would put on some pads, but, you know, hey, Rose Green. Mm-hmm. Rose Green, like, he y'all age. Yeah, he like, he might, <laughs> might die y'all. He might die y'all age. Man, I remember I was in Marine Corps boot camp. We had the way the Marine Corps boot camp set up. You got a senior drill instructor. He like the dad, and then you got a crazy drill instructor. And then you got one drill instructor that does all the teaching. The crazy drill instructor told us he drunk gasoline one time, right? <laughs> Listen, man, he had us so brainwashed. It took me like two or three years to realize that man, that man ain't drink no gasoline. <laughs> No, for years I thought Sergeant Schaefer like really was crazy like that, but it just was an act, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this story just made me think like that. I don't know where that came from. So you at Hollandale now? Um, I went five and two. Um, the recruiting season that's picking up. Um, you, you, you haven't visited any schools yet, right? You visited some schools? Uh, no, nah, not yet. Um, um, virtually, I can see. Virtually, yeah, virtually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you plan on taking visits? All of them? Or? Uh, I plan on, yeah, hopefully, with my coach Rosen, like, yeah, hopefully, but I think they, they keeping it to a minimum. Like, we probably could go into school, but... But it can't be official. It can't be official because of cause of COVID. Yeah, it probably just, yeah. But I'm going, we going to Phoenix, and I'm close with um the coach from Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, young, um, DB Oh, coach. yeah, 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 yeah. So, and that's my guy, that's my birthday week. So, you know, he said that he go get me right. I'm going to be with him that whole weekend while we up there because the battle turned me up there. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, the battle so, turned me up. Maybe like an unofficial? Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm going to just go to, to the school. school um, Arizona, Arizona State. Arizona University. State. With uh, Coach Herman Edwards. Yeah. 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 They've been recruiting hard. They've recruiting me hard. They've they been recruiting hard. They, I don't know if they got more coaches. I don't know if they got more resources. Yeah. But they have been doing a good job. A good job of recruiting. You plan on um, coming early or uh, wait to sign a day? I'm coming in, in June in for June? the season. Oh. We're gonna, um, gonna enroll early too? Yes, go. Yes. Uh, graduate early? Yes, go. Yeah? Yeah. So you got any top top schools right now? Because uh, Kane fans wanna know. Uh, are, are, did they make the top? You got a top five? You got a top I got, five? I got a, I got a top, top seven. Top ten? Put it top out? seven? I got a top seven. You put it out? Nah, put it out. Yeah, put it out yet? You gonna put it out right now? <laughs> it's coming soon though, but y'all get the first pick of it. Um, I got um, South Carolina, Penn State, Arizona State University, Indiana, UM, who else? I mean, I do. Michigan, 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 Michigan State, and Mississippi. Hold on, you say Penn State, man. It's a, it's, it's a guy with the I, I, I love him, but then I hate him. <laughs> Cedar, man, he's over there, and he, he always stealing my kids. He's still he, 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 your recruiter? He your recruiter? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Cedar, he, man, yeah, he's yeah. the guy. He recruits all the South Carolina. Always, man, but. I yeah, got it. I got so his, listen, he just dropped top what? He just dropped his top seven. Oh, and also Auburn. Yeah, yeah Auburn. Auburn. Oh. Auburn. So yeah. we got top, he just dropped top eight top right eight, there on Caneville, man. <laughs> Look at that, man. Just dropped top eight right on Caneville. Mom, you gonna have any say so in this? You gonna have any say so where he go? Like, huh? Like the U. You like the U? Did your mama say? What's your daddy? Dad, what's up? Dad, what's up? You You gonna? So, so you, so you, you, University of Miami fan, mom? I'm, I'm, I'm homegrown. homegrown. Yeah. Yeah. But you grew up watching University of Miami. You know that? Miami. Yeah. Well, she want me to study, cook. My mom always want me to be around, you know. Got a girl. Huh? Got a girl and leader, girl. Get a new experience sometimes. You know, uh-huh. but ain't no telling. I'm, yeah. I might. Be you go. Yeah. Crib. yeah. You gonna want to grow up and get a new experience. You gonna, yeah, until you gotta wash your own clothes and find out, figure out what you gotta eat tonight. You yeah. gonna be like, man. <laughs> yeah, you gonna be like, man. I ain't realized, you know what I'm saying? I was just going cruise control through life. All this other little stuff was going on around me. No, but that's but, but, but that's cool, man. So you just dropped the top eight, man. Your mama wants you to go to UL. Um, you gonna take it? Y'all official visits may get a little weird now, man. Yeah, well, because yeah, um, they, the, the dead period don't start. They saying it ends in April, April fifteenth, but then they stand. Now they saying they might extend it. Yeah, which sucks because that's when kids start going to visit colleges. So, yeah. so I think it. I think it depends on what type of bonds you got with the coaches. Cause yeah. the coaches they can get you to come to the school. It just can't be a whole lot of people. Yeah, it can't be. It can't right. be yeah. official. It can't be official. Got to be unofficial. Um. <laughs> Which helps, like you say, you go you go to these little certain tournament camps, you go to the certain cities, um, yeah. 
take it on the fish. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So listen, man, that, that's that's what's up, man. We got to see, talk to you about seeing when you, you when you commit, man. See if we can get you to commit on the show, man. We'll sit down and talk to your parents as long as it benefits you. Because I'm big on your platform. Uh, your social media, bro. Like, listen, grow it. That's yours. Those people. See, I got you. We got you early, man. Because everybody we get usually been uncommitted and the process is over. Listen, man. Your social media is your platform. That's your people. I know y'all look at followers just like, I got this many, he got that many. But those people don't go away. One day, the way college football is going, you may want to sell them a t-shirt. You may want to do something with your followers. You want to get it as big as possible. And right now, you're in a, you're, you're in a position to where you have a lot of leverage. The word is leverage. You know what I'm saying? You could say, man, I like the way South Carolina play defense. And 10,000 South Carolina fans going to come look at least. Or you could say, well, if we had a good time, we went to a Michigan visit, and then 10,000 Michigan fans going to come. It's called leverage. You're not always going to have that. One day you're just going to be a regular dude like me and X. <laughs> so right now, as you have leverage, use it. Then go home, sit down what I just told you, and utilize it. You see what I'm saying? Because I always go to Ocho Cinco. Ocho Cinco got caught hitting his wife, allegedly, or whatever. He got to cut on TV, right on the show, and still is famous, and he's still significant in the people's eyes. You know why? Because he knows how to use this thing. Take a, take, 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 it, it, it's called branding. Take, take, take a lesson out of the book. I ask myself how, like, he's still, how he just... Because he knows how to, he knows how to use his social media to keep his name. You know, social media is nothing but like your own TV channel, bro. Y'all just don't see it because y'all hiding on y'all Finster Instagram, whatever. <laughs> and y'all regular Instagram, y'all don't do nothing with it. It's like, it's like a people looking to your life. I'm trying to figure you out. Right. So when you have people, when you get people to follow you, you can monetize that. But y'all don't really see it like that. Y'all see it as just a thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it, it'll click. You feel me? So listen, man, we breaking breaking ground here, man. This man just dropped his top eight <laughs> on Caneville, man. Um, and, and we follow him, bro. We gonna support you this year, all right? Let's go. Cool. All right, man. Y'all, they locked in, hit, join, hit, like, uh, football oh, building. Tell the people to catch you on, on social media. Oh, yeah, exactly, man. Uh, tell them social media. My IG name, bands up, J, dot J, three Z's, bands. And then my Twitter, Brad, one at J. Yeah. Cause I could not find them, <laughs> and that is, that is a problem in itself. <laughs> I tried to find them one time, I couldn't find them. But yeah, man, we are gonna get up out of here, man. We got, we got the whole crew coming through soon. They, they got lost somewhere. I don't know. Lost in the sauce. <laughs> All right, man. Appreciate y'all. Y'all stay locked there with us.